Suhendri Ardiansyah, a victim of human trafficking syndicate in Myanmar, continues to suffer from abuse and torture. He was threatened that he will get his limbs amputated if he is unable to give the perpetrator a ransom of 500 million rupiah. The victim's family then came to the police for protection. On Monday evening, they coordinate with the Human Trafficking Task Force of the Indonesian National Police's Criminal Investigation Agency regarding the matter. Spokesperson of the family, Johanna Priviani, explained that they had presented evidence including the texts and voice recordings from the victim, a report submitted to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Indonesian Migrant Workers Protection Agency. Johanna explained that the victim was initially offered a job with a salary of 10,000 US dollars at a company in Thailand. Upon arriving in Bangkok, Thailand, the victim, along with several Indian nationals, was sent to the Mysot area of Thailand. However, the victim was instead taken to Myanmar. The victim is still believed to be in Myanmar. The family is hopeful that the government will assist in bringing Henry back home. CTD contributor reporting from Jakarta.